or last week. And then this week, your new goal is to eat half rice every meal. And then I was able to, you know, to survive it. Um, on the second week, I was just eating half cup of rice. And then over time, I was really able to get rid of it. So yun, the breakfast and then the merienda, I take it off. As in, I just eat twice, twice a day and then I do fast. By the way guys, for the fasting, it's not really advisable for you to fast as early as, you know, one month. Because ang tendency niya na yung mahilig talaga kayo. So, you know, just do a baby step. Anyway, we're not rushing here. So, the first thing that you need to do is, of course, to cut off the rice. Since may hilig talaga ako sa sweet if I am drinking or eating ice cream in a week, siguro mga three times or five times, I will, you know, lessen it to at least one, two, two. Over time na, as in, makat ko na talaga siya. So, during the first month, yun yung nag-struggle talaga ako. Nakatulong din sa akin sa pagpapayat si Coach Dave. Lalagay ko na lang din yung link ng YouTube channel niya for you guys to undergo or for you guys to check the guide what are the things that you guys can do para maging effective yung pag low carb journey and then until now i am doing low carb diet though nagra-rice na din ako kahit pa paano siguro ang kinakain kong rice every day is 2 to 3 spoon per meal and then i eat twice a day pa rin and so right now ang current kilo ko is 58 kilos and then I am currently maintaining it. So imagine guys, from 75 kilos and it went down to 58 kilos. Like, I started with my low heart diet way back Feb 2020. Nagkaroon pa yun ng hindi consistent talaga yung low heart journey ko. Diba nung nag-lockdown, yun, tumas kaagad yung kilo ko. And then after noon, so I decided to, you know, to be consistent. Because consistency is really the key. Nung nag-lockdown, tumas yung kilo ko. 60 na ako noon. Tapos, tumagalin yung lockdown or pandemic. Siguro mga July or August ata noon. Gain ulit ako ng weight kasi napapayaan ko ulit yung diet ko. Sabi ko, oh my gosh, this can't be. I've been doing it for how many months and now I am eating a lot again. So, decided to, you know, to be on track again. And then now, was able to, you know, to reach my goal weight which is 58 kilos na lang. So yun, I will give you sample meal plan. Kasi ako, I know, yung diet ko ngayon is more on meat lang. Then, more on egg. More on vegetable. Pero yung mga vegetable is, as in yung mga low carbs then like potatoes, squash. So yung mga vegetables na high carbs, hindi ko din kinakain. Then again, dun kay Coach Dave Aguila, you will be able to, you know, to really deep dive kung ano yung mga bawal during low carbs diet, kung ano yung magiging progress nyo. Basta guys, I trust me, I am not a nutritionist, pero parang yung health ko, my health went well compared when I was eating a lot. Kung kumakain ako ng sobrang dami, like walang limit sa carbs, parang sobrang hinang-hina ako. Tapos ngayon, nung nag-low carb diet ako, syempre payat na, nag-lis ng weight. Kasi gumaan talaga yung pakaramdam ko. What I am doing is, I am working out na para at least matone yung, syempre pag nag-lose weight ka, parang magsasag din yung ibang part ng skin. Like this one, your arms, and then your tummy. Hindi siya, as in, totally mafaflat. So, the best thing that we'll have to do is really work out. I am doing Chloe team workout right now. It just so happened na pinastab ko muna temporarily because uh, my surgeon told me to stop it muna. So yun, I just wanted to share it to you guys na there's nothing wrong from being fat. It's just that ang mali is magiging complications mo sa pagiging matapag. So I hope you guys will be motivated sa paglulis ng weight. Actually, si Janelle, he already started dieting na from 70 kilos, it went down na to 66 kilos, which is a good thing. It's still a progress. And I am always telling him to be consistent kasi consistency is really the key. Kapag ka hindi ka disciplined sa mga kinakain mo, then definitely you will not get a result. And then, 
Marati kong iniisip sa sarili ko na best thing that you can really give to yourself as a gift is not an expensive thing. It's eating healthy. Kasi nga naman, diba, kapag kalimbawa may pera ka nga, ang dami mo nga material things, marami kang gadgets, marami kang alahas, pero your health is not good. Like, nakakapetitin ka na, you're suffering from a specific illness. Of course, you won't be able to eat. So, as much as possible, if you still have the time, just do it. Just be healthy. Huwag mo nang antayin na ang doctor na yung mag-a-advise sa'yo to go on a diet. So, yun lang. Um, low carbs is the key. Again, I wasn't able to, you know, to disclose na early year when I was starting na. I am not a nutritionist or something that has a medical um, industry background. Pero, I am just, you know, sharing this based on my uh, personal experience. So, yun, just, you know, keep on trying and then just keep on striving. So, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. No, not enjoyed. I hope you've learned something in this video. Again, if you wanted to really know more about the low carb diet, you can follow Doc Marco. He's also one of the low carb diet advocate and then coach Dave Avila. I will be putting it on the description box below. Para matutunan nyo pa or malearn nyo pa yung low carb So, yun lang. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell para sa updated videos. Thanks! Bye-bye!